What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Almost in broke the door. Let me try that again. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a kind of like a room desk setup tour. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Uh, I never really got the chance, so come on in guys. I never really got the chance to do so as I've been kind of like building the setup throughout this like whole time. It's been like a couple of months coming. Um, I've also, my room is kind of a mess every now and then and I'm gonna try and see if I can go in like a kind of like a linear or order and uh, try not to skip any of the parts. So we're gonna start right here. Um, over here, down here, you can see there's like this little module. It's nothing too crazy. There's a couple of stuff. I actually have a couple of candies since it was Easter. Um, I keep some of the stuff that I use every now and then. As you can see here, I have a book. This is one of the books that I, I've shown this in a video in the past and I've talked about this book and it's a really good book. If ever you guys are interested in learning about uh, just money in general and investing in wealth, this is a great book, you should read it. Also here, as you can see on the side, I have a, uh, a bag with a bunch of stuff. This is literally just like a bunch of products that I've accumulated throughout uh, my past videos. So I have like a light bar, I have mechanical keyboard, I have a pair of like studio monitor headsets and all that stuff. And uh, right here, as you can see guys, this is a product that actually I've been meaning to get into uh, uh, for a little while. So if you probably want, you're probably wondering how does the audio sound really good in this video? Well, that's all thanks to today's sponsor, which is Mayono. So I wanna give another big shout out to Mayono for sponsoring the video. Guys, this is the package that we're looking at. Wireless microphones, honestly, they're super convenient. They're really nice. Very, very simple packaging, but honestly, it offers a lot of stuff. As you can see here, what you're looking at on screen right now is a transmitter and a receiver. The good part about this is that it has two receivers. So if ever you have a guest or you wanna have somebody else recorded their audio, it's very easy. As you guys saw, that was the setup process, literally super simple, two seconds, hold to pair, that's it. Literally, that's literally it. Plug and play, super simple. As you can see, you also have the options of lavalier microphone. So you do have two lavaliers you can plug into each receiver. That's great. The transmitter is plugged into the camera with a simple auxiliary cord that is also provided. So literally everything you need is in the box. Super simple. As you can see guys, plug and play. My favorite part about this is obviously this pouch. It's honestly amazing. It's super convenient. Once you set up everything, as I'm gonna show you guys in a second here, you set up everything into the pouch, super simple. You throw it into any travel bag, any camera bag. Very convenient, you have all your equipment. Look at that, super clean, organized, it's amazing. Thank you once again, Mayano, for sponsoring the video and setting the package over. If you guys are interested, links are in the description down below. Let's get back to the video. So as you can see here, moving along, we don't have much stuff. I do have a couple things I wanna show you guys really quickly. So as you can see, I have some old stuff down there. I have like my sunglasses. I have like a GameCube, which is super old school. That's like really antique. Um, I got some of my art stuff. I do like to draw every now and then. And then I got some of my like important papers, blah, blah, blah. This actually right here is some of the stuff that I keep. So this is like my sunglasses. This is like a chain I forgot to put back. Um, as you can see here, this is some of the jewelry that I rock. I usually keep my sunglasses organized and I try to keep that like that. I'm gonna put this for the now. Uh, right down there and if you could take a closer look sorry about that if you could take a closer look here this is my watch box it is not complete at the moment i do have some of the uh, some of my favorite watches in here uh, i'm going to open it really quickly for you guys just so you can have a quick look there you go um try to keep it organized i try to have a, a bit of diversity i'm also rocking another watch at the moment as you can see this is like my go-to everyday watch uh, it's really old, it's kind of beat, it has some scratches on it, but this is some of the watches I like to keep on rotation. There's obviously some more fancy ones, there's some little more casual ones. I'm really growing this watch collection as I really have a, uh, I really have a thing for jewelry and watches and all that stuff. As you can see, I also have a good amount of sunglasses. Summertime is right around the corner, so I'm gonna be able to enjoy those. I also have my PS4 here that's just like literally gathering dust. Uh, moving right along, as you can see, this kind of leads us into the setup. And you'll see that over here, I have this, I don't even know what to call this anymore. <laughs> this is just like a, a collection of a bunch of stuff. As you can see, I have um, two laptops here. This is my personal laptop. It's a MacBook Pro. It's a uh, 13 inch. This is an old one. Like I've literally had this for years. This is what I used to get my work done uh, in the past, but obviously it's kind of outdated now. The specs inside are a little bit old. Um, this right here is a work computer. And I do have a remote job for those of you who know. Uh, you know, this is the computer that I used to work on. Super simple, it's an HP machine. It runs on an Intel Core i5. It's actually a really good machine. I might have to do a video on this. I've been meaning to, like I just have in the back of my head at some point, I was like, maybe I should do a review on the laptop, this specific laptop, even though it's a work laptop, because it's really good. It's surprisingly powerful for the small 
different shape that it has and it does offer like really great value and for the price that that was like i think dollars probably like at that 900 dollars mark it's great so i might have a video on this if you guys want to see it let me know also here kind of an, again just a pile up of a bunch of other stuff i usually use this mat as a background for some of the b-roll shots and some of the top down shots um this is a really really old school imac from 2007 this was actually my first ever imac that i got um it wasn't mine at first it was my dad's and then he gave it to me and this is what i started doing my very first videos like way back i said like 10 years ago which is crazy time flies um but yeah that's that this is a spare monitor it's like a mini tv that i have that's hooked up to the playstation 4 as you can see there's a couple of cables running down there sometimes i have like i'll play games every now and then i'll just like lay back and chill all right so moving on there's not much left on this side specifically there's a box of a bunch of tech that's like just chilling there i also have another pair of sennheiser headphones here um if you guys know i did have an auction on whatnot i have this actually i was supposed to um there's someone who bought it and then they eventually canceled their order they just changed their minds so i'm stuck with an extra pair of sennheisers uh, which is not a bad thing because as you can see here on the setup i do have my own pair and i really love them and use them but we're getting to that really shortly as you can see here in the corner i just have like my old chair i still haven't gotten rid of it i probably should because it's just there gathering a bit of dust and it's in this kind of in the corner but it's fine because i sometimes use it to put like some boxes or whatever the case may be other stuff i have a lamp in the corner super basic from ikea a bit of artwork on the walls just to keep a bit of color in my room if you guys are wondering i know some of you guys have mentioned in some of my other videos in the comment section you've been like oh there's some cool artwork where'd you get that i actually did that myself so that kind of ties in with like the whole um, art supplies i do like to um have some art up on not only on the walls but i do like to create my own art every now and then uh, as you can see here this is kind of getting into the more interesting stuff uh, this is my overhead mount uh, from mount dog this is actually a combination it's a setup i have a multiple attachments in order to create this so i got this um parallel extension arm from newer and this is uh this i got on amazon it's actually really good it's very sturdy high quality it has this nice block of weight here and you can also add a sandbag to it i have i don't use it at the moment because i don't need it but if ever the case may be if you have like a a bigger soft light this is very crucial if you want to have good lighting in your videos i highly recommend it right now it's the it's honestly beautiful outside broad daylight so we don't need to use it um, but yeah it also has this this is the stand that it came with this is the attachment that i have on top of it super chill super simple this is a tripod that i use for the camera so whenever you guys see my videos a lot of times um, this is the the tripod that i use very generic very basic as you can see hidden here away behind there's a another tripod <laughs> this is a tripod city here there's a bunch of stuff uh, this is my microphone it's my blue yeti as you can see it all the way in the back there it's kind of chilling um, this is the microphone that i use most of the time when i have my sit down shot so when you see like uh me i'm like sitting down at the deck like in front of a table or whatnot and i'm doing a review a lot of times this is the microphone that i have like right above me so it's capturing the audio so it doesn't sound like all poopy it sounds nice and you know high quality because a lot of times if you watch videos and the audio is low quality then you're not gonna really enjoy that uh moving on here i have this is the start of the desk i'm actually gonna get into the desk really quickly before we get into all the stuff that's on the desk uh this is a really nice standing desk that i got from ikea it's not one of those motorized ones so i know a lot of people uh you'll see a lot of desk setup that have the motorized ones but this is not one that comes with a motorized as i move my headset here i'm gonna show you really quickly it has this really simple pull mechanism and if you go this way counterclockwise it goes down if you go this way it'll go up it's very chill super simple it's versatile it really depends on what kind of uh, person you are sometimes i'd say very very rarely but sometimes i'll use it in the standing up uh, most of the time i do keep it in the same shape uh, kind of in the same size as i sit down and i get my work done this is the chair that i'm currently rocking it's nothing fancy guys i made a video on this i know a lot of people have you know their chairs on their videos and they're like oh i have an ermin miller chair which is like a thousand dollar chair this is literally a simple a uh, hundred dollar chair from wayfair i have mixed feelings about it it's not the best it's not horrible but it's not the best so yeah on the chair aspect very simple like i said nothing fancy nothing crazy gets the job done it's a little snug on the hips maybe that's also because uh, i have like strong thick legs but that's okay it's not the end of the world moving right along I'm actually gonna start at the bottom of the desk and we're gonna go up now please guys do not judge me about the cable management down here it is not impeccable it's kind of okay 
it could use some work now i am going to be moving out really soon um, and when i do so i'm going to actually fix that cable management as you can see it, there, there's something going on but it's not complete i'm going to get a nice sleeve and tuck away all the cables in the sleeve it's going to be good now as you can see here on the far right side there's my ps playstation 5 super uh, super lucky that I got one on release. I actually got one as soon as the PS5 came out. So the first day that the PlayStation 5 came out, I was lucky enough to get one. And uh, yeah, honestly, I've been using it. I play a bunch of games every now and then. And PSN Plus is great because they offer free games. As you can see here, this is a new uh, acquirement into the setup. This is my gaming PC. If you take a closer look here, you'll see. Let me just turn on the uh, actual PC so you guys can see the lights and everything. Uh, it, it's honestly really cool. Really, really good uh, deal I got on this thing. It's all it's a pre-built. Everything um, came as you see. It has RGB. It has some great specs. So really quickly before um, we move on, I'm gonna show you a good bit, little bit of the specs. I actually can take out the a um, the case right here, so you guys can have a quicker look at that. So if you come in close, you'll see uh, we're rocking a uh, RTX 3060 uh, NVIDIA GeForce graphics card. We have a uh, AMD Ryzen processor. I think that's an AMD Ryzen 7, if I'm not mistaken. We have uh, two sticks of RGB uh, right here. You'll see that's the sticks of RAM, so that's 16 gigs of RAM. I have my own little pop figure. Um, I feel I felt like that was my own little touch. And I think that's about it. We also have uh, a one terabyte of SSD storage, which is really, really good. Super chill, to be honest, guys. This PC, uh, I, I was meaning to build my own for a long time. And I kind of gave up on that because I saw this at the store and I was like, yo, this is a sick deal. Why don't I just get a pre-build? It's amazing. It gets the job done. I run a lot of my games like at 300, 400 FPS and it's honestly awesome. Uh, you'll see moving right back along. All of that stuff is connected to the screens that you see on top here. So you'll see this is a mounted microphone arm. I will say, guys, if you're ever looking for a microphone arm, this is a really good option. It's really nice. It's a little bit bigger than a lot of the regular ones. It has more reach. It definitely supports a lot of the microphones. This is also the microphone that I'm rocking. This is the Razer Siren X. Super chill, very basic. This is like my gaming setup. It's not nothing too fancy, but it also has good value for what it is. Super chill microphone arm. It's obviously uh, it's clamped to the desk. You can also drill a hole, which I never really recommend you should do because you never really know what you're going to do with the desk. And this has a very simple magnetic process. So as you can see, you just clip it right back in. Boom. And it's super stable. doesn't go anywhere. As you can see, I mentioned these earlier. These are the Sennheisers. I kind of wear these now every now and then. I do use them to edit my videos. So a lot of the times they're very accurate when it comes to sound. I like these a lot. I use them for editing, but I've also been using them for gaming lately. I, I don't know why I have them plugged into my PC because uh, I actually use my gaming headset on my PS5. So I keep these here. This is kind of like, as you can see, microphone, headset, super chill, uh, relax. Moving on over here, you'll see I have a pair of studio monitors. These are very old, actually. I got these a while ago and uh, I think it's been like literally a couple years, man, maybe like three to four years. They're the uh, PreSonus. I think series five, they're a uh, series four, sorry. They're a little bit bigger. They offer some great quality, great audio. Um, as you can see, if you move on to this other side, you'll see the other ones right there. And <laughs> right on top of that, I have a very old school game capture that's chilling there. I don't really use the game capture, although I do plan on using it uh, in the near future as there's gonna be some games that I really wanna cover for you guys on my um, streaming channel, it's on Twitch, if ever you guys are interested. I'll leave a link to that in the description as I always do. So come hang out, it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, this is basically the main piece of the uh, of the desk. Super chill, as you can see here, I have an ultra wide monitor. This is very convenient for video editing. I've, I've also had this for a long time. It's been like a good three to four years now. It's awesome, I, it gets the job done. I do absolutely all of my content on there. I edit, it has more estate so you can really capture more of the timeline and it's really, really convenient. Now, some of the parts of the setup might be a little dusty. Don't mind that. It's because I don't always have the time to clean up. Uh, on the aspect of monitor, I still have this monitor light bar that I love. It's from Xiaomi and it's really, really good. Especially at nighttime when it gets a little dark and you get a little tired and the, the light from the screen is very tiring. This comes in really clutch, helps me out a lot. Super simple, it all, it's all controlled with this wireless 
uh, device you tap on it to close the light tap again it opens you can dim it down you can dim it up and you can also change it to cold which i won't because i like the warm light here is my main machine this is the mac mini m1 with the uh, 16 gigs of ram honestly great uh if ever you guys were in a debate whether you should pick up a mac mini a macbook pro or anything this mac mini if you don't need any external peripherals and just like the way i did i had already had my monitor i already had my speakers i already had my keyboard everything i just needed a powerful machine i highly suggest you get these especially now you can get the m2 pro version which is like even cheaper than the one i got this one for and honestly it's the best bang for your buck right underneath here you'll see i have my hard drive this is always plugged in I store all of my videos in there in case something would ever was to happen. I have all my videos stored and backed up in there. And it's also like just, you know, for the purpose of always having um, my videos saved up somewhere here. This is actually some things that are a little bit more personal to me. Uh, I have two notebooks. This is uh, actually my sister gave me this one. Um, this is not the college that I used to go to, but I really liked it as it's very chill. Super simple. It has this clean white aesthetic. Um, and I take a lot of notes in here. Obviously, this is the worst part for me to show you. It's completely empty. But in the beginning, I do have a couple of notes. I do have notes on like videos and like sometimes I'll have um, I'll write down like ideas or like a script and everything. So it's kind of rough. It's very all over the place. It, listen, it gets a job done for me. <laughs> it is what it is. I've, everybody has their system. I'm really kind of old school when it comes to that. I like to just write it down. Um, I'm just going to fix my monitor really quickly this is also like my uh kind of like a diary i write a bunch of stuff in here um it can vary from like a bunch of stuff honestly kind of like an everyday di diary a little bit more personal so there's nothing really to share about this i guess diaries are somewhat personal and you can kind of keep it to yourself uh pencil obviously super chill ipad air i use it mostly for school i do use it every now and then um to actually edit uh thumbnails so I do have applications on here that uh, enable me to edit photos or um, better yet, I can do uh, some video editing. I actually have this really nice app called Dehancer. Really, really nice. I'm going to have them featured in another video. I'm going to cover it. It's been a really good app. I've been practicing uh, editing on the iPad. Really good. So if ever you guys have like an iPad and uh, this is the M1 iPad Air fifth generation, very powerful. So you'd be surprised with the amount of things you can do with that. Uh, portable speaker on the side over there that's from Trevolo obviously an, a, a past sponsor of the channel um, as you can see in the corner there we have a prime drink I bought that when I went to Plattsburgh with some of my friends like literally weeks ago and I has, still haven't touched it it's been through the sun it's been through cold I think the prime drink inside is literally expired and it's horrible although it's an energy drink so I don't see how it could really expire but it is what it is I'm probably just gonna keep it there look as you can see there's weight to it it's shaking so I have not touched it yet. Power Beats, I've had these, made a video on these. I will not get any other wireless headphones for a long time. These are amazing. Battery life, audio quality, fantastic. A couple of spare change sometimes. Ever, ever since I started carrying cash on me, so like, for example, I always have like at least 100 or $150 on me. Ever since I started carrying cash, I always have change and it's kind of like piling up all over the place. This is kind of a monitor riser, although I don't have the monitor on the actual riser, but I use it to store all of the stuff. I do have an arm for the monitor. So as I'm gonna put my monitor back into place, if you come right along this side, you'll see that the monitor arm is standing right here. Super simple, kind of have this black aesthetic. Uh, it's holding the monitor together right there. So it's kind of, the cables are somewhat organized. It's not the best, I still have to work on that, but I promise I'll give you guys an updated version when I move out and it's gonna be nice and clean. Now, I do, I do have these things. I got these on Amazon and they're very convenient. Uh, there are these little things, these little drawers. They have some stickers and you just literally glue them to any surface. And I keep a lot of stuff here. So I have like my wallet, passport, gum, um, just a bunch of unanimous stuff. I also have this, uh, this like MagSafe charger with some cards in it. So really just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Nothing too important there. Also moving on, I have another one here. And this has a bunch of other stuff. It has like nail filers, a bunch of pencils a lip balm some lights that i control the cards from when i went to mexico and literally that's just about it for the peripherals i'm rocking this keyboard this is the t8 rgb mechanical keyboard i really like this keyboard not only does it have a sick colorway but it is very nice very tactile it has one of those mechanical keyboards so as you can see you can hear the the clickiness of it which is awesome 
I really need to upgrade my mouse. I'm still rocking the Apple mouse, which is very uncomfortable. I feel like literally 20 minutes of editing, it's just horrible. My arm starts to cramp up, especially because I have a big arm. So as you can see, my arm on this mouse, I literally look like I'm about to absolutely hammer the mouse, which is stupid. Um, for my gaming peripherals, very simple. I've had these for a long time. I bought all of these on sale and I haven't had all of them at once. I bought this Razer Death Adder. This, as you can see, if you close up here, you can see the wear and tear of this mouse. It's been through hell and back, literally survived Vietnam. Um, but yeah, I've had this for probably over seven years. This is the first version of the Death Adder. I have not changed it, it still works fine. Uh, this is the Razer, I think it's a Death Chroma. I don't know what name it has, but it's yeah, right now it's on standby. It does have all the flashy colors. And this is the Razer Firefly. This is the second version of the Firefly, the mouse pad. It's chill, it's a nice combo. I obviously try to keep everything Razer. As you guys saw, I have the Razer microphone, all Razer equipment. A, bunch of, a lot of this stuff I got on sale. So whenever you guys have the opportunity, don't buy shit full price, it's really not worth it. A lot of this tech, uh, when it comes down on sale, it's much more enjoyable to get it on sale. You feel better about yourself and you get away with some awesome tech. Moving on to more Razer tech. This is the uh, Razer Black Shark V2X gaming headset. My favorite headset. I literally got these for $50 on Amazon. They are the most lightweight, comfortable headset I've owned in like all of my lifetime as a gamer. This is amazing. This is, if, if you guys are looking for cheap, reliable, headset, this is the one. I, I can't stress this enough. Like I'm not even trying to uh, sell the product too much, but it literally speaks for itself. So I'm just gonna put that right back there. As you can see here, I have also another monitor, super chill, ba very basic, it's like a 24 inch. It has, you know, very simple, it's 1080p, 60 hertz, nothing fancy. It also has its monitor arm in the back. So I got this on Amazon. This is another really good monitor arm. It's very different from the other one, but it's uh, it's really good, high quality, $40 on Amazon, gets the job done. I really wanted to clean up the space on my desk and I love the floating monitor look. It's more professional and it also saves up a lot of space. This is where I usually, this is connected to the PlayStation 5. I game on there every now and then, as you can see. PlayStation 5 controller, it, ha it has a bit of wear and tear to it. As you can see, I actually damaged the controller on the side here. I think I raged too hard at some point and I threw the controller on the ground. Control Freaks, I still rock these. I go by these all the time. If you guys don't have Control Freaks and you are complete weirdos, you should get them, they're awesome. Um, I have some blue light glasses. I don't always wear these, but every now and then I do find myself needing these, especially at night. Portable charger right here. This is a power brick that I've had for a while. I uh, got this at Costco actually, really good, super amazing. It has wireless charging here, as you can see, it has the little logo so you can drop your phone on it. It shows the indicator of how much percentage it's at and you have three uh, out inputs. So you can have like this one right here, which is your regular USB 3.0, USB-C and uh, the lightning port. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! I was in oh. your face. But... Yo, I think we saw it a little bit, but oh, oh my god. Alright, guys, so this is. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so this is basically the, the end of the desk setup. Super basic, chill. Um, it's very, it's kind of a hybrid, it has my productivity setup. So as you can see, guys, I have the keyboard here and the Mac Mini, and that's how I get the videos done. Uh, oh, also, I forgot to mention this freaking Goku statue. You guys seem to always point it out and at least a, a video and every video that it shows there's at least a comment that that talks about it um it's very nice one of the more premium statues i got this at eb games a long time ago a vino this i had this during the winter time because my hands get really like dry especially here on the knuckles they always get really dry so i need to put some cream uh this is a microphone that i use sometimes when i'm vlogging obviously you guys are familiar with the setup uh pop this is the uh the fur the the, the dead mouse as they call it um, to kind of uh, stop from the wind and all that stuff. And that's about it on that side uh, for the desk. Kind of a wrap up, big window here. Uh, this is nice, I love the big window. It's very nice and bright, but it also sometimes very hard to work as the light is just literally blasting me in the face. If we move, move along to this other side of the room, obviously it's super simple here. This is my bed, um, very chill, super relaxed. I got my gym gear down here. So if we open this drawer really quickly, you'll see some of the stuff. I'm a huge Nike fan, as you can see, literally everything is Nike on this side. Um, and over down there, I have my socks and my underwear. I'm not gonna really get into that, there's no point really. If we move along this side, as you can see, there's a couple of stuff. Uh, this is some of the stuff that I use for B-roll shots. So this is kind of like some posters, be careful. This will absolutely blind you, as, as that's how bright it is. I have a couple of colors. I use these as backgrounds for like the, the B-roll shots. So sometimes I have like light blue, blue, 
orange, black. The black one I use pretty often. Um, I'd say that I would need to pick up some more colors. I would like to get like a red one, maybe a pink one. Um, you got, you, you literally get these at the dollar store. They're like a dollar and they go a long way. They make you, uh, they make your videos look more professional and more clean. So I'm just gonna put this back down there. As you can see, some of the gym shoes I'm currently rocking. Uh, these are some older ones. Nike Presto, as you can see, they're a little beat up, a little ripped, but they're still awesome. They get the job done. I really like these. As you can see, this used to be a white. It's a little yellow now. It kind of has like this vintage-y um, aspect to them. I wash them as often as I can because I really like them. They're super comfortable. And this is actually a recent pickup. Uh, Air Max 97s, all white, super clean. I love all white shoes, especially at the gym. I've only worn these like three, three to four times. They're already starting to get a little bit brown. Uh, that's how it is with white shoes. It's the curse of white shoes, but you gotta rock them. That's why you buy shoes. Um, I got a bunch of other stuff down here. Like as you can see on the bed, there is space down here. And all of that, I have like some shoes, some camera gear, some bags, some other boots, a bunch of other stuff that I don't always rock. And uh, last but not least, if we come right back up here, you'll see guys, I have, that's like a, this is a Herschel bag, my kind of my gym bag. I know it's a very untraditional, but it's, it gets a job and I have my stuff in there. Let me show you really quickly what I carry around at the gym, super simple. I usually have like this little shaker bottle. This is what I usually use. Uh, the gym is smaller, so it's nice and convenient. Um, this is obviously crack cocaine. That's not true. This is <laughs> pre-workout, super chill. This is usually, uh, I use this for sometimes before the workout. It's just basically um, caffeine mixed with like some sugar. So it gives you a little bit more energy when you work out. You guys work out, you should know what that's all about. I usually keep another pair of sweatpants again nike what what what's a surprise there uh, i also have a hockey stick i picked this up this year and i only use it twice which is kind of a shame because i wanted to play more hockey but i didn't get the chance so that's that i'll be using it next year and as you can see here if we look into the closet there's a bunch of stuff i have like my jeans pants sweatpants shorts all of my hats at the top uh, actually i installed these like really ratchet lights that only work at night um but they're like motion lights and i got a bunch of stuff so i try to kind of keep keep my closet clean as you can see it's kind of organized by color we have like sweatshirts flannels a bunch of t-shirts that I, I try to keep as organized as possible some jackets in the back and down here i know you guys might be a little curious this is my sneaker collection i got a couple of good pairs you know we got like stuff like the blazers that I rock all, uh, pretty much all the time. I have Air Forces that I also like, I rock all the time. Um, Jordans, very popular, very uh, very much like these. I'm super fond of these. Uh, also, this is one of my favorite pairs. Jordan Obsidian Blue, super sick. If you guys are sneaker heads, you'll know what the hype is all about. And that's basically it. There's a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff, a bunch of other older sneakers there. And I think that's about a wrap up, man. I, I have had these installed. I actually had my dad help me out with it. And that's, uh, it's been very useful. I keep all my stuff organized. And I think that's about it, guys. That kind of wraps up the room tour slash desk setup tour. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys uh, most liked about the setup. Obviously, the setup is basically there, but this is the room that I usually chill in. I showed you a little bit of everything. Let me know, guys, if you have any of the products that you see here that you like. I'll try to feature as many of them as possible in the description down below. Now, a lot of these products, as I said, I did get in the past, so I haven't had um, the chance to necessarily list them all, uh, but I will try my best. Let me know if you've enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos. Once again, thank you to Mayono for sponsoring the video. Great microphones. If you guys want to check them out, links in the description down below. And yeah, I think that's about it. I will catch you guys on the updated version of this, which is going to be, I don't know, sometimes in the near future. But until then, as always, guys, I wish you the best of luck in everything you do. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Deuces. Ooh. Why you upset like Cinderella teens? You should see the things I finish inside these denim jeans. I can't associate with...